Hi, this is Joe Cursillo, and welcome back to the series on communicating based on the skills of a trial lawyer. Today, I want to talk to you about what I call instant branding and image. Instant branding and image. Well, you know, we talk a lot about authenticity and having a brand and keeping a good image. Well, what's cool about trial work is you walk into a courtroom and they say first impressions are lasting. The moment I walked into a courtroom, I had seconds to establish my brand and my image. Because as I spoke to that jury, there was no socializing. There was no chatting to find out what was important to them. There was nothing that I was allowed to do other than some background research on who these jurors were to bond with them. So when I stood up in a courtroom, it was my job to bond with that jury in a way that they would listen to me and follow me. It was amazing because you walk in and look at people who don't know who you are. You don't really know who they are, but you instantly want them to be part of your team. And not only do you want them to be a part of your team, but the other lawyer wanted them to be a part of her team. So that was the adversarial system. In your world, it is your image, your brand, who you are, that you want them to be a part of. There is no adversary visible, but there is the adversary that exists in the mind of who the listener is. Each person is listening to you, and they're going to be thinking of things that are wrong in what you say, things that are misplaced in what you say, things that to them are unimportant. By bringing them together and having them accept you for who you are, they will want to listen to you more. So how do you do that? Well, you've got to reach out right up front and start talking to those people authentically and real. You cannot create an image that you cannot sustain. You have to be who you are because when they listen to you, they're going to be listening for what I call two important things. One is they're looking at you to be credible. They're looking at you to be the truth teller. They want to know that if you're talking to them and you're taking up their time, what you're telling them has to be real. They're looking at the veracity of what you have to say to make sure it's something they can accept. If they're struggling with whether or not you're credible, then you're going to lose them. So when you speak to them, be who you are and embrace yourself, acknowledge yourself, and be comfortable in your own skin before you talk to them. Secondly, you have to be the expert. Whatever you're going to sell to them, what you're going to pitch to them, and what you're going to explain to them, you have to be the expert. So that means you have to be prepared right up front to know that any challenge, any problem, you can handle it because you're the big gun. You're the one that is special and sometimes magical in their knowledge. That is the truth about establishing a brand immediately. And when you stand up, the minute you act inhuman, the minute you act like you're better than them, the minute you act like you know more than them, they're going to drift away. So as a trial lawyer, we've all seen television where we hear legalese. I learned early on that I tried a case against someone and the crime of driving under the influence is driving under the influence of a motor, in a motor vehicle, driving a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. You know, that was a great word. And I listened to police officers and I listened to lawyers use the word murder vehicle. It's funny, but in my early days, I used to get nods and smiles from the jury when I used the word car, the word truck. 
because they were words that the persons were used to. They were words that the jury knew. I didn't change who I was, but I was able to speak in very simple terms, in terms that everyone listening to me could understand. That sent a message that my brand and my image were that I was a human. I was no better than them, but I was an expert at what I was doing. And that is what made them want to listen. So prepare your next remarks to make sure you're speaking to the audience as a whole. If you're speaking to an audience that's divided, maybe you have salesmen in one side of the room and scientists in the other, if you're in the pharmaceutical industry. Maybe if you're in the financial industry, you've got actuarials on one side and you've got clients on the other. You've got to speak down the middle. Give them something they can hold on to. Make them comfortable with who you are. And make sure that when you open your mouth, you know what it is you're going to say. You know who you're saying it to. And you're able to embrace who you are completely. Because if you can't do that, you can't expect your audience to do that. So I wish you the best the next time you stand up. I tell you to embrace yourself, set that image right away. And I look forward to speaking to you in our next video, where we are going to talk about establishing the relationship. So have a great day. And thank you for joining me during this video.